old-timey whimey box. Have you ever looked at all the gear musicians use and wonder, how does it all work? My name's Dustin, and my family and I are setting out on a quest to inspire both adult and kid musicians to create new sounds together and learn all about what it takes to produce great music. We'd like to invite you along on the journey as we explore the gear professional studios, musicians, and hobbyists use to create their art. We'll take a close-up look at the gear and ask, What's this button do? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of What's This Button Do? I'm your host, Dustin, and this week we are going to be taking a look at a brand new pedal from Solid Gold FX, the RS Optical Vibraphase. This thing is absolutely insane. If you are a fan of Univibe, a fan of modulation, a fan of tremolos, this pedal is going to blow your mind. But honestly, this is another one where I can chat about it all day, forget that. Let's go jump over to the pedal board, take a listen, let you hear what it sounds like, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, join me over there. All right, so today we're gonna to be using my Syph OH-10. This thing is an absolute beast. And we're gonna be staying in the bridge pickup on this because it's a nice tele bridge, has this really nice sound. <laughs> Nice and chimey, good telly sound. And the reason that I want to do that is because I think that's really the best way to take advantage of all the sounds that you can get out of a good Univibe pedal. So we're going to turn this on to start off with. So the Aorus, what Solid Gold has done here is captured the best world of a Univibe, but added something above and beyond that by adding two LFOs to their pedal. And for those who don't know what that means, basically when you're using a Univibe, you hear this sound that's kind of a kind of sound that goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and the level, the depth of that changes the way that that sounds. So if you think of uh, old Jimi Hendrix songs, you'll you'll hear a Univibe quite a bit on there. Um, and a lot of Pearl Jam, uh, Yellow Leadbetter is a great example of that kind of sound playing through. Um, but the Univibes are a really, really, really cool sound. But what solid gold effects have done is added a second LFO to get two of those sounds happening and you can change the patterns so that one's going up, one's going down. You can make different little sounds as you go. So we're going to look at what all that sounds like. But before we even start into that, I just turned the pedal on. Now you'll notice I've got the dry mix all the way down. So right now, none of the real pedal sound is coming through. The only thing you're hearing is your dry tone. So if you notice... See, when I've got this set at noon, you're basically getting a nice, even volume. No real change there. But what's really cool, this is a little secret hidden in this pedal. If you bring up this volume, that is just a beautiful little boost in and of itself. I think that sounds killer without anything else on. I'm really, really impressed by that sound. I think that's fun. So I would use this as a boost on my board, number one, if you ever just needed a quick boost, this is a great way to do it. But let's look at what this pedal was really meant for. So we figured out that noon is about unity gain. Let's listen to the other sounds that you can get out of this. So first of all, we're gonna walk through all the knobs and then I'll explain what this little switch in the middle does. Dry mix is pretty self-explanatory. The more you turn this up, the more the effect is gonna be pre prevalent. <laughs> If I have that turned all the way off, you won't hear any of that effect going through. Now this gets more apparent when we increase our speed. Our speed knob here will increase the rate that that LFO is going. You can see these little lights here. This is LFO one, LFO two, or I think I flipped those over, LFO one, LFO two. But you can watch how as I increase the speed, that starts to vibrate more. Now what's really cool on this is you also have a tap tempo. So if you're playing along to a song, you can also manually adjust that speed just by tapping your tempo in there. And then if you start turning the knob, it'll go back to whatever the knob speed was. But what's really crazy is look at how much difference there is here. I'll turn the depth up a little bit so you can hear it, but the slowest speed. As we come up on the speed, you hear it coming in and out a lot faster. Come all the way up. Almost sounds like a tremolo. All the way up. Really cool. 
cool, like really, really together. But what you're seeing here, you're seeing both of these lights are flashing together. And the more we bring that depth up, the more you're gonna hear that. If I take it all the way down, it's not affecting near as much. The lights aren't getting as choppy. They don't hit as hard the lower that this is. So your depth and your dry mix go really, really hand in hand together. The more depth you have, the harder those waves are gonna hit, and the dry wet, the more you're gonna hear those waves as they're going through your sound signal. That makes sense? If not, comment down below. I'll help describe that a little bit better. I know that could be wonky, but I wanna keep the demonstration as short, short as possible, so. Um, so now the interesting thing is, so right now we're in phase mode, which is this little switch here. You can go to frequency or you can go to phase. We're gonna start off in phase mode. And what this is, is it makes this knob right here, the offset adjustment, it makes it decrease the frequency or, or the speed of the first phase of this. So watch what happens as I increase this, you're gonna notice that those lights are no longer blinking, especially when I take this back a little bit, they're no longer blinking at the same pace. If I bring it back to the far left, they blink at the, uh, blink at the exact same pace. The more I take this up, the more you're slowing down that one phase on there and changing the sound. So let's listen to it from the very beginning right here. Turn the depth up a little bit so you can hear it a little bit more. Let's take it up to about noon. All the way up. just changes that real subtly, but gives you that little bit of a difference so that those waves are going up and down, up and down at a little different frequency. Now this becomes really apparent when we bring the dry mix up quite a bit and we've got that speed going a little bit, you'll really start to hear it. Hear that, how you've got them kind of opposite, almost a choppy frequency sound, versus when it's all back together. Just a real smooth kind of sound. That, that wobble is going the same rate on both LFOs is really cool. And then if we take it over into frequency mode, this changes it a little bit different. In the frequency mode, you're you're increasing the space between the two. So when we first start off, you see they're they're going simultaneously here. So let's If we bring it up to noon, you notice they're Go all the way up. Now this is really similar to almost like if you had a phaser going at a really slow phase, which is on this side, and then you've got a tremolo going on the left hand side, kind of creating this cool trim effect on top of the phase. It's giving both of those to you at the same time. And you can really hear this if we add in, I'm gonna add in the solid gold effects uh, lysis fuzz and let you hear what this sounds like when these are, are in that kind of mode. Ready? <laughs> If we have them uniform, versus if we take it up, let's play a little rhythm. Now, if we're in phase mode and we do that. I really love 
of phase mode when you're using distortion or fuzz because it really gives you this cool modulation within the fuzz, but it's still keeping the character of the fuzz. When you've got the frequency mode on, you wash out a lot of the characters of that fuzz, especially if the depth is really high. Now, if we go back into the frequency and you wanted to use that with the distortion sound, what I do is I take the depth down a little bit and the wet dry down a little bit, and then you can have that offset be off. <laughs> Tap it a little tempo. Now I want to show you how cool this can sound with a lead fuzz line. If we have just a little line like this with no, let's leave the RS off for a second. Now let's do that same lick. See how that motion just gives it more life, more air behind it, just a really, really cool sound. I love how just having that little bit of motion in the background brings your playing alive. And that's what the Aorus does so, so stinking well. But, that's your basic controls. Now, what they've done is in the instruction manual, they've provided us with some examples of different ways to use this. Let's test out a couple of their ways just so you can see it. So I'm gonna set up what they call the classic Univibe kind of setting to it, where you've got your depth up a little ways, you've got your dry mix up quite a bit, and really because you're using the offset adjustment at the same time, you're gonna have them all kind of going the same way, but. <laughs> Totally that kind of Jimi Hendrix vibe sound. absolutely love that and what I love again having a univibe that you can control the speed out of <laughs> That's just awesome. Like, I've never had one that was that easy to tap tempo in. Usually that's the problem with Univibes is you're sitting there trying to dial the speed knob in to match the rhythm of your song, and or you're using a foot pedal to treadle it back and forth. And this does have an input for a separate foot pedal. I'm not using it today because honestly, to me, the tap tempo is really what makes that shine. I, I'm gonna use the tap tempo nine times out of 10. Now they have a couple other settings. Let's take a look at those. The next one is called Deep Cuts. Let's turn this way up. And this, it's gonna sound a lot like what we just did, but what you're using is that phase mode now. It's a lot more throbby and it has this kind of like really cool, like in phaser terms, they would call it like a through zero effect where you hit that one like little zero point where they both meet in the middle. Where it almost goes really quiet. See how it went quiet right there in that little dip? Right there, you hear that like where it kind of zeroes out and then comes back up. That's really cool because both of those little waves are coming up and down and then they meet each other and then boom, that's when you get that zero effect. Now they have another effect called the dual modulator and that's when we bring this offset up a little bit. We're gonna leave the level right there. Dry mix is about right and we switch back over to the frequency side of things. And here you've got the, the phases each going kind of different. You can see the rates are quite a bit different. So if we play uh, kind of a similar to what we were doing a few minutes ago. I 
kind of fun because there you're getting again, there's that choppiness of this side. Watch that light. And then you get that slow phase of the other side. <laughs> Just kind of crazy. I really, really like that. And then the last setting that they give you in here is called the phase vibrato. And this is a little bit different, but I really, really like this. So we're going to bring the dry mix way down here. So you're just barely getting any dry on there. I mean, any uh, mix in there, right? So you get very little vibrato effect, but it's just a little bit to move things around. So let's hear what that sounds like. Hear how that almost sounds like a tremolo pedal, but with a, it never goes to zero. So a lot of tremolos, whenever you hear a tremolo, you'll hear the volume go up, down, up, down, and it eventually hits zero and you kind of lose the sound. It's like a very musical trim because you're never losing the actual note that you played. And if we add in a little bit of that fuzz that I was using a little while ago. See how much more life that brings into that? And that extra movement, that extra trim sound is so cool. It kind of reminds me of a tremolo that you would naturally get from an amp. But again, by not going back down to zero, there's just so much you can do with this. It makes it super exciting. And there's just so many wonderful sounds in here. I think this is another slam, by, uh, slam dunk by Solid Gold. I'm, I'm so, so impressed. All right, first of all, I have to say the price on this for a Univibe pedal that does so much more. Most of your Univibes that you see out there today can range anywhere from $350 to $500. Sabadius, you know, you're talking about around $500 bucks for a good Sabadius one. Um, like that new Thorpey that I reviewed a while back, the ER2, fantastic Univibe pedal, but again, you're paying $350, $400 bucks for that. This pedal comes in at $209. And it does a killer sounding univibe that I'm gonna tell you is pretty dang close to the Sabadius. The Sabadius still has its own thing. It has its own little chewy kind of vibe to it that just no one else can get close to. But quite frankly, I don't know that you need that on 90% of the songs. And for 209 bucks, I'm gonna tell you this thing comes dang close and the tap trim alone, that's what makes me want to put it on my board immediately because there is that is probably the most annoying thing about traditional univibes it is really really hard to get them sunk up to your songs which is why they always sound so weird and so different because they're not perfectly aligned to the songs and sometimes that's got its charm but there are also times that that can make your music sound off and that is what the beauty of having that tap trim on there lets you synchronize with the rest of the band you're going to sound better in the mix you're going to stand out it, it just works and i'm so blown away by that but secondly, for those who are not using it clean, when you're using it with other pedals, especially dirt boxes like fuzz and distortion, you could hear what that does. It makes fuzz come alive. And for those who aren't used to doing a lot of vibrato with your fingertips, if you, you don't have a lot of motion, maybe you're, you're a newer player, or maybe that's just never come to you. I like to play with a lot of vibrato in my fingers, but um, there are some people who just don't. That's not their game. Um, this will give you that extra vibrato that you want to have a little bit of movement to your notes without taking you out of tune, without being anything weird. I think the, the versatility of this pedal for 200 bucks, I mean, you've got a killer boost. We heard that at the beginning. You've got a killer tremolo. You've got a killer univibe. And then you've got something no one else that I know of has ever done in creating those two simultaneous LFOs. So you have a phaser mixed with a tremolo or a phaser mixed with another phaser to give you these cool offset sounds. I mean, come on. That is worth every freaking penny. I just, I cannot say enough good things about this. Um, I've only had it here at the shop for about, I think we've had it for two days now. And I bet I've logged 10 hours on this thing, just messing around with different sounds, combining it with other pedals. And it blows my mind every stinking time. But the way that it plays with that solid gold effects lysis, oh, 
uh, yeah, I I'm already having fun with that, writing some songs with it. So really, really in love with this. Solid Gold Effects, you nailed this. And everyone, I, I cannot recommend this enough. I cannot imagine anyone would ever be disappointed in this pedal. So I would highly, highly urge you to check it out. It is, it's well worth the money. Um, absolutely blown away. Okay, I'll stop yammering now so we can get back to it. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with me tonight. Um, you may have noticed we've switched our regular nights over to Thursday nights. Makes it a little bit easier for me to get some uh, breaking news for you guys as things happen during the week, uh, but also just to, to be able to get better gear, gear demos out that aren't quite as rushed. Uh, so you'll be seeing a lot more of these on Thursday nights. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, uh, we'll do a little review of the Guitar Show UK and we'll be showing you the new Fidelity guitar that premiered over there. It is going to be absolutely insane. I'll put a little picture up here, but um, I cannot wait to share that with you guys. It's supposed to be shipping out next week and then should be here in a week or two. So uh, um, we'll probably be hitting a new pedal next week and then we'll do the Fidelity guitar on the following uh, uh, episode. So please join me back then. I'd love to see you. As always, I want to thank my friends over at Palin Music for hosting me. Uh, please, please, please go visit their website. I'll put that down below. They've got some really good sales going on over there right now. So I've been shopping in some of their used gear and there's some really cool stuff in there. Um, so go check it out. I know last time I looked, there was actually a couple solid gold effects pedals uh, in there too. You might want to double check and see uh, if they haven't sold you out. Yet, so and for those who uh want to check out some more content please follow me on instagram as well at what's this button do dustin i'll put a little link down here as well uh please go give me a like and a follow over there because we'll be posting lots of content with videos and sounds and creations that we've made with these uh so we try to post up something a couple things uh, every week over there so please give me a follow over there and and uh, we'll uh, see you over there as well well, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Hope to see you next Thursday night. Until then, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.